the magnets that we are developing here at CERN do not exist anywhere in the market. We are pushing forward the technology, we are advancing the technology. Most people wouldn't even know that magnet technologies from CERN could be used to benefit society. I started looking at the medicinal properties of honey when I read about somebody using honey on burns. I thought that's weird. So it was a very sort of an accidental pathway into looking at medicinal honey. Manuka is really cool because there's something naturally occurring in the nectar of this plant and that gives it this really powerful healing properties. We get people trying to make fake manukas using sugar syrups and other compounds that are much, much cheaper than manuka honey and then trying to sell it at this high value. Honey laundering is a huge problem and it sounds kind of funny but it's not. Universities and research institutions undertake exploratory research. They generate new knowledge, new technologies which can be used within different market sectors and also across society. They wouldn't necessarily know where those new technologies can be used elsewhere. We at CERN build high field magnets to keep particles in the particle accelerator on track. This can also be used in food screening because you need high magnetic fields. And we can also use powerful magnets to catch honey launderers as well. We know last year that around 10 times the amount of Manuka honey produced in Australia and New Zealand was sold globally. So there's new technologies coming on board that we're digging around with to fingerprint the honey. The fundamental principle is called NMR, nuclear magnetic resonance. Uh, when the nuclei of the atom are in resonance with the radio frequency signal that comes in, they change state and then the signal you record it, then you can figure out what's in this kind of liquid. Has somebody diluted the honey? two-thirds of the global food benefits from honeybee pollination. So it's crucial that we support our beekeeping industry because they're producing honey but they're also feeding us through pollination. Exploratory science has specific aims but many spin-offs can come out of it which can benefit society as a whole. We have a whole basket of really complex problems facing us and we have huge potential to deal with all of those and we have so many clever people. I think fundamental science and research is the most important thing that the human race should be funding right now. Fundamental research is a public good, that's what they call it, and it's true. <laughs>